Hello everyone, and welcome to another Blackboard tutorial video. In this tutorial video, we're going to be showing you how to use the weighted column function in Blackboard to calculate your final grades. Uh, this process is very easy, and it allows you to calculate your final weighted grades right in Blackboard without the need to export your uh, grades to Excel and do a lot of complicated work with Excel formulas uh, to arrive at that final grade. So what we want to do to make this happen is to go into the Blackboard course and click on Grade Center and Full Grade Center. And you can see once I do that, this is the screen that I'm on now once I've clicked Full Grade Center, I get a list of all the students in my course as well as all of the assignments or items that I've assessed throughout the course of the semester. If you don't have all of your columns created at this point, it's a good time to go ahead and do that. You can create manual columns uh, for things that are assessed outside of Blackboard by clicking on the Create Column button. Uh, but before you do this process of calculating the final grades, you need to have basically all of the details entered in there so that Blackboard can do the calculation uh, that it needs to and arrive at the total number. Uh, so that's important that all of the columns are created and all of the grades are entered first before going through the calculation process. But uh, I'm good to go because I have all of the grades entered in here for my course. So what I'm going to do now is click on create a calculated column and create a weighted column. There are a lot of calculations that Blackboard can do for you, uh, but the two main ones that we see are total column and weighted column. A total column is used when you just want a raw total of everything in the Blackboard Grade Center. Um, and that's useful if you've set up your Grade Center so that each assignment or each column is graded out of the course weight. And what I mean by that is, let's say the assignment number one was worth 20% of the final mark. If you're marking that out of 20 for each student, you want to use a total column to calculate your final grades because you've already done the math uh, on your own. Um, in this case though I'm grading everything out of a hundred so what I want to do is have the computer do the math for me so I want a weighted column in that case. So I'm gonna click weighted column from here and I'm gonna go through the process of creating a new column. I'm gonna give it a name, call it final grade and I'm gonna scroll down about halfway through the page where I get to this section that asks me to select the columns to include in the weighted grade. This is where we go through and actually tell Blackboard what each column is going to be worth out of the final mark. So to do that, I'm going to click one of my columns and I'm going to click this little uh, arrow button over here. So I click that and you can see that it's popped over to this selected columns area and I've got a text box here where I can enter a total of the final grade. So I'm going to just drag over the rest of my columns, midterm and final exam, and once I've got them all in there I can go ahead and start to enter the weights as I've outlined on my syllabus. So let's say that assignment number one in this course was worth 20% of the final mark, I'm going to enter 20 go down to the next one and uh, you can see down here at the bottom that Blackboard is actually keeping track of the total for me so I arrive at that nice even round 100% figure and in fact if I don't actually have things add up to 100% uh, it will warn me before I try and continue to make sure everything is lining up the way it should be. So I'm just going to go ahead and from my syllabus fill out the rest of the information. We'll say assignment number two is worth 40% the midterm was worth 20, and the final exam is worth another 20%. So there we go, I'm at 100% of my total weight, and I can move on to the next option. Before we click Submit though, there are two options that we have to consider on this page that are very, very important. The first is the Calculate as a Running Total option. This option uh, basically defines how we are going to treat zeros or things that are not entered into the Blackboard Grade Center. So let's say we've um, collected an assignment on Blackboard and one student didn't submit anything. Uh, they don't have a zero because we haven't assessed anything or we haven't gone through and manually entered a zero. Uh, they just have nothing in that, uh, in that Grade Center column. This question is asking us how we want to treat that. And generally what you want to do is click the no option so that is counted as a zero instead of being exempted as a final grade. 
So no uh, basically indicates that anything that doesn't have a grade assigned should be treated as a zero. So that's a very important option to uh, make sure you've got right when you're calculating your final grade. Because if you don't, uh, anything that doesn't have a grade assigned to it could just be exempted uh, and you know that would skew that final total. So you want to make sure that that is selected to no. The other thing that you want to select before we click submit is the show column to students button. At Trent University we have a rule that final grades can only be released by the registrar's office once they have been verified and affixed to the student's transcripts. Uh, you can't release final grades on the Blackboard Learning System, so we have to make sure that this final grades column that we're using doesn't get shown to students inadvertently. So what we want to do is just click show this column to students and select no. Once that's done, we can go ahead and click submit. Just take a second. And we now have a new final grades column in our Blackboard Grade Center that is a category weight of all of the uh, options as we've indicated from our syllabus. And that's pretty much it. For support with this process, please contact it at trentu.ca. And thank you very much for watching.